right guys welcome to my kitchen welcome welcome to my kitchen you guys it's finally here I'm so excited it's modification madness Monday we should have some sort of creepy weird music playing but even better it's my Friday you guys yay my Friday so as usual I'm on a race against the Sun creeping in my window so let's see what we can do we're gonna swipe this and we're going to modify if I don't like it. If I like it, I'm not going to modify. That's that's the rules. Those are the rules. So usually when I modify, it's with intent to make something I'm not really fond of better. And I missed Father's Day, so we're going to put in a whole bunch of blues tonight. So that was Payne's Gray. We're going to kind of do that pretty sort of. Arizona southwestern colors. Payne's gray. And this one is light blue by the acrylic paint with no name other than acrylic paint from the dollar store. And this one is a dove gray that I made. It's a combination of multiple things shadows behind me I thought my daughter was at the door but nope just me seeing things hallucinating you guys that's my Friday I'm allowed to okay and this one is a beautiful turquoise color also by the dollar store paint with no name just a beautiful turquoise that's what we're gonna call it and we're gonna put a little bit of red oxide by Liquitax not a lot Okay, this one is This Little Piggies in Horizon. I think that's right. No, I lied. I lied. It's Lakeside. It's not even close to Horizon. Not even close to Horizon. You can't trust me, you guys. You just can't trust me. But this is Horizon. Okay, and we're gonna move our paint so that I don't get paint everywhere. I'm gonna swipe both in white and black. And I think we're gonna start in white and we'll go from there. All right, my friends, here we go. My swiping card, there we go. Just a little broken piece of playing card, one that I've used multiple times. And I just keep wiping it off and using it again until it gets so bad that it's just not even usable. But that takes a bit. That's number two. I didn't do that very well, but it always changes once we stretch it. Okay, swipe number three in white. Okay, so let's go back in. Let's uh, let's just tilt this a little bit because it's pretty uneven. And now we're gonna move these two. I'm gonna move everything that I'm gonna ruin. I'm gonna move. So. I slop some paint. Okay, let's go back in and maybe break this up a tiny wee bit with some black. I, I lost my swiping paper. Oh goodness, how can I lose things? Like in 30 seconds, I've lost everything. Hmm. All right, well, I have another, another piece here. So, Let's do it with the other piece. Oh, here it is. It's stuck to my plastic. All right, guys, I'm back on. I'm back in action. Okay, here we go. We're going to swipe black. So this paper has a little bit of a ratty edge so that when you go through it and you lay it down, it makes kind of a different pattern. Sometimes, not always. You'll see if it's ratty enough. You'll see. Let's make it a little rattier.
Okay. And maybe one more in there. And we're going to just break that up. Create a little bit of a direction change, I think. And maybe we're going to break this blue up as well. Right in here somewhere. All right, my friends, let's do this. Let's tip it and tilt it and move it all around. And if we really like it, we'll keep it as is. And if we don't like it, then we'll modify. The whole point of modifying is to, for me, is to try to kind of create something out of something that's just kind of so-so. If I don't really like the pour, it's a great, great thing to modify. All right, we're going to give it a bit of a spin. All right, my friends, here we go. Just a gentle spin because my base coat tonight is a little bit thinner than I usually use. And it's mixed about 25% Floetrol with 75% Beauty Tone, uh, it just interior paint. One more spin, maybe. Kind of flip flop back and forth between thin paints and thick paints for my base coat and i've been on a thick crave a crave a thick kick say that 10 times fast i've been on a thick kick for a while now and i'm sort of slowly getting into the thinner base coats only because it's so much easier to move the paint around but i i don't know i like both i like the thick because i can really really bend and stretch it i can't do quite so much with this. All right, we're gonna take it off that corner. And we're gonna come back. So we have lots of nice lines for this to modify for sure. So this is probably a really good piece to modify. Mucked all my bracelets. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick spin again. One more time, guys. All right, I think I'm happy there. So. My modifying tool of choice is, as you know, a plastic kebab stick. So let's just do this. Let's just go through it and make a whole bunch of little lines in different areas and see what we can come up with. I'm going to start here. Wipe off. I'm going to start by wiping off first. And that's it we're just gonna go through it just like that and we're just gonna do some little details and little embellishments that's all it's so simple guys you can all do this I know you can I like this I don't really want to do too much with that this is my big thing is not really knowing where to where to go So this is just little lines didn't even go all the way through it's just little lines and the more contrast in the lines the better outcome you'll get um, obviously you know dark over light light over dark and you're gonna get nice bold contrasting lines but that's not absolutely necessary that you do that you can just make as many little shapes as you like
But since it's Modification Monday, let's just go crazy. Sometimes I just don't like to disrupt things, though. Oh, let's just do it. Okay, this time we're going to leave the paint on. So we're going to come back in and we're just going to do the same thing, but with our paint on it. And it's going to leave these little flower stems and sort of stamen type things. Don't have to do all of them. You can only do one or two of them. It's entirely up to you, my friends. Some little wisps. So let's make some little wispy edges. These are fun colors for sure. So you can change your pattern by just, you know, one, one line is all the way in and one line is just a little notch. And that just changes the whole outcome of whatever you're modifying. Very simple guys, you can all do this. All right, well, I don't know what to do in here, but I really need to do something. So I think we're just gonna cut this up, but we're gonna leave our paint on. So there's a good example of nice contrasting lines, the orange, the white, and the blue. And when you pull them together, it makes a really nice, intricate little pattern and remember the tidier you are with your lines the tidier the outcome of your design is some days i get here with too much coffee and it's like oh and it won't work because it's messy i'm gonna come in here somewhere i think Kids have gone to get Subway for supper tonight, so I don't have to cook. Not that I have to cook for them anyway, but I have to cook for myself. Okay, this time we're gonna take the round end of our kebab stick and we're gonna place it down and we're just gonna make a few little swirls. So we're kind of hovering it above. This blue is gonna be challenging because there's lots of mica pigments in it. And it doesn't always hold its shape right away, but if you come back like in five, 10 minutes, you can go back in and just give them all a little twist, just another little twist, and then they will definitely hold their shape. So you twist some to the right, some to the left. See those ones I went to the right, these ones I'm switching the, nope. I'm lying. I'm lying again. I can't be trusted, you guys. I'm telling you. So 
if I was doing this and not talking, I could do this a lot faster, but I'm talking. All right, so that's probably all I'm gonna do for little, little marks, but then you can always take your paint in any color you want, the same paints that we used for the pour, and make your little dots. So I came back in with a tiny bit of the red oxide. And we're just gonna we're just gonna dot a few of these in red just for fun. Okay, those are some red dots and let's let's do a few beige dots just to kind of give it a little bit of variation in color. I know we didn't put beige in the pour, but you don't doesn't matter. It does not matter. Where was I doing them? And that's it guys, it's just a gentle little dot of paint. That's all. It just creates a little bit of interest here and there. And something fun, something fun to do. Okay hey guys, I think I'm going to stop here because I could just keep going, but sometimes it's kind of gets a little bit busy as I dot some more. Okay, I'm stopping here. Absolutely, I am. So I'm going to love you and leave you right here. The sun's creeping in. It's going to get us. I'm going to bring you over for a quick flyby. You guys, this is so easy to do. You guys can all do this. So, so easy to do. All right, my friends, here we go. Come all the way over. Yeah, look at all these pretty little details. So that was like 18 minutes of time. That's it. And if I was puttering here on my own, it, I would definitely have done it quicker because I would be talking to no one but myself, which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> All right, my friends, poor happy, stay safe. You guys have a wonderful week. I'm sure we'll talk really, really soon. And big shout out and thank you to everybody, everybody who supports me. You guys are just the most amazing cheering section a girl could ask for. Thanks, guys. Bye.